Desktop icons, where did they go? We all love our desktop icons, some of us more than others. These desktop icons help us to navigate to the different places on our computer quickly, right? But what do we do when they go missing or we can't find them? Well, I'm going to share a few tricks with you today that you might not know about on your computer. These tricks will help you get to those desktop icons or get them back in the event that they go missing. Okay, everyone, so the first thing that I wanna show you on the computer is how to get to the application folder or the folder that hosts all of your applications in it. So it has literally an icon for every single application on your computer or every single software program that you have installed on the machine. A lot of people don't know about this and it's pretty cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is hold down the Windows key and tap the R key like Robert, okay? That's gonna open up the run window down in the bottom left and inside of the box next to open, we're gonna type in shell like a crab, colon, apps folder, okay? Once we have that in there, we can hit okay. This is going to open up your file explorer to a folder called applications. And here inside the application folder, we have every single application that uh, you have on your computer. So if you ever wanna find an app or you install an application or software and it doesn't immediate, immediately go to your desktop, you could go find it inside of this folder, okay? Um, I'm going to drag one out so you can see how you would put it back on your desktop, right? So let's say I came in here looking for a media player because I wanted an, I wanted an icon for it. I could click on it with my mouse or touchpad and then drag it out to the desktop and let go. And now I have a shortcut out here. Okay. Pretty simple stuff there. Again, as I mentioned before, these are just shortcuts. They're not the actual application or software. So if I were to drag this up to the recycling bin, or I were to drag one out. See, I can just keep dragging it out. Just because I put it in the recycling bin doesn't mean that it's deleted. Even if I right click on it and go to show more options and then delete, all it does is stick it into the recycling bin, right? Which brings me to the next method of retrieving icons. If it's only one or two missing, there's a good chance that maybe you just accidentally deleted them or dragged them into the recycling bin. So what you can do is open up your recycling bin. If you have an icon for it on the desktop, you could double click on that, or you could go to your search option and type in recycle bin. And then see, we have the system app here, open that up and look at that. I've got media player times two in here because I just deleted it twice. Okay. So I'm going to put one back by right clicking on it and choosing restore. Okay, I highlighted it first by left clicking and then right click on it to get this dialog box and I'll restore one out. And now my shortcuts back. So now I have this quick ability to be able to just double click on uh, the media player and open it up from my desktop. Okay. So what if all of our desktop icons go missing, right? What could that be or what causes that? One of the most common issues with that or one of the most common uh, problems I see people make or, or uh, the mistake they make is by maybe right clicking, going to view and hitting this show desktop icons. Okay. You saw that was a simple two clicks there. It could be done very easily by accident. Your cat could run across your keyboard and mouse and could cause that issue themselves or whatever. Somebody could do it by accident on your computer. And next thing you know, all of those desktop icons are missing, okay? If I go right click again and go to view and then show desktop icons, here they all come right back, okay? So that's another common one that I see people accidentally um, changing their view settings, accidentally throwing it into the recycling bin. There's a couple easy methods to help you get it back if that's the situation you're in, okay? Now, let's talk about some advanced troubleshooting, okay? What if none of that works and we still can't get our icons or they're still missing? One of the other methods that we can use is we can go to our file explorer, either by opening the little folder icon we might have on our desktop, or if we hit Windows key and E, that'll open up our, our uh, file explorer, okay? Now, what we wanna do is drop down to, and again, I think I said desktop earlier, usually the file explorer is on the taskbar, sorry about that, down on the taskbar. And once we have it open, whichever method you use to get to it, you're gonna wanna go to the this PC option, go into the local disk C typically, and 
This is where our user folder is. So you'll see a folder for users, okay? Come in here and find your username. For me, it's Black Knight, so I'll open that up. And I wanna note here that we, if we, for this next troubleshooting step, we need to make sure that under view, we have show hidden items, okay? So in your file explorer, you have this view option here. You'll go to show and make sure hidden items is on because if it's off, app data, which is the next area that we need to go to, won't show. So once you're in your user folder inside your username, you need to make sure show and then hidden items is on. If you don't have that on, you won't see this app data folder, okay? We want to open up that app data folder and then open up the subfolder local inside of there. And we want to drop down to where this icon cache is, okay? Now, if we delete this, like if I was having issues with my icons, they weren't there, they're missing or whatever whatever problem I'm having, I could delete this icon cache folder, hit the little delete up here, or I could right click, show more options, delete, then clear it out of the recycling bin and do a reboot. Sometimes that'll fix issues with your icons. Another one for advanced is pulling open your command prompt. Okay, so I'm gonna search for command prompts, which is a, a system application. We're gonna run that as administrator, okay? Alternatively, we can also use that shell apps folder to find it like we did earlier. I'll show you that real quick. So again, Windows key and R, shell, apps folder. And inside of there is going to be the command prompt. I can right click on it and run it as administrator, okay? Now, once we get that open, there's a couple commands we can use like SFC forward slash scan now. That's a good one. That'll scan the operating system and try to detect issues. And then we could run like a DISM scan to try to repair them, okay? I will have the commands down in the, uh, if you're feeling comfortable with that, I'll have the commands down in the description of this video. You can use those to do your own advanced troubleshooting. However, for all of the advanced troubleshooting I just mentioned, and even some of the basic stuff, if you're not feeling comfortable with it, don't attempt it on your own. Reach out to us here at My Computer Works. We would be happy to help you out. That's what we do every day. We help individuals just like you with your technology. And we we do simple things like this and more advanced things depending on what you need, right? So if you're missing icons, you're having trouble with your phone, you're having trouble with your tablet, printer, computer, whatever it is, cameras, reach out to My Computer Works via the number at the beginning and the end of the video and down in the description, be happy to help you out. And while you're down there, please hit that like and subscribe so that we can continue to bring you these free tech videos uh, showing all these great um, you know, troubleshooting methods for the different things that you might run into on your technology, okay? It shows us support and it really helps us out. So again, hit that like and subscribe down below. My name is Tyler with My Computer Works and I'll see you all on the next one.